Hello, fourth graders. Welcome back. This is Mrs. Smith here. Um, we are starting with our volume two today. So we're starting off the first lesson of unit five. It starts with a little letter. I would rip this page out and stick it somewhere easily accessible because this little chart right here is super helpful. Um, and it, I mean, it, it occurs again, but in case uh, you want to easily reference it, it says, uh, this unit is about the metric measurement system. During this unit, students will become familiar with metric units of length, um, capacity, mass, and time, as well as the size of each when compared to the other. Um, so one meter is about the distance of an adult that an adult man can reach with one arm, or a little bit longer than a yard. So if you have a yardstick um, or three feet, it's just a little bit longer than that. It's closer to like 39 inches. Um, a liter is about two large glasses of liquid, or a little bit more than a quart, which is a quarter of a gallon. A gram is about the mass of a paperclip, or a single peanut. And a kilogram is a little more than two pounds, and it's also a thousand grams. And we're going to talk more about that in a second. Um, students will discover that the metric system is based on multiples of ten. Prefixes in the names of the metric measurements tell the size of a measure compared to the size of the base unit. We'll go through all of this later, but the big ones to remember are the kilo is a thousand, uh, and uh, centimeter, it's like a hundred times smaller, and millimeters, a thousand times smaller. Um, the most commonly used lengths, uh, length units are kilometer, meter, centimeter, and millimeter. The most commonly used capacity units are liter and milliliter. And the most commonly used units of mass are gram, kilogram, and milligram. If you're in my class, I did post a video from Math Antics that I hope that you would watch before doing this page with me. That's pretty helpful information. So let's go ahead. You can give this letter to your parents so they can help you with it. Um, here's your paper. It says find these units on your meter strip. So these little tiny lines you see here, those are millimeters. These lines right here, um, boop, boop, where the those lines are, are the um, centimeters, which you're probably familiar with from using rulers earlier from like second grade and third grade. Uh, decimeters are 10 centimeters, and a meter is 100 centimeters. So here we only have 10, so if you have 10 of those, it'll be a meter. Um, it says find one millimeter on your strip. What objects are about one millimeter wide? So this is a millimeter from there, boop, to there. <laughs> it's really small. I think something that's about a millimeter is like the tip of my pen, right? The tip of a pen. A centimeter is this distance here from the zero to this one, that amount of space. And if you look, like the tip of my finger is about a centimeter. If you have wider fingers or more narrow fingers, maybe that's not for you. But let's see, I got a chapstick here. That part of my chapstick is about a centimeter wide. This part is wider. Maybe like a, a marker, if you have a Sharpie. Yeah, that's about a centimeter thick. A Sharpie. A Sharpie is thickness, oops, thickness, um, oh, I'm so silly, I switched these questions around. So how many millimeters are in one centimeter? There are 10, right? 10 is equal to one, so I'll say here, 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. And then here we'll say a Sharpie's thickness is the right um, one. And then find a decimeter. So that's this amount of space right here, all the way to here, from here. That's a decimeter. How many centimeters are in one decimeter? Well, let's count the centimeters. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten centimeters is one decimeter. 
10 cm equals 1 dm. This is one meter that has been folded into decimeters to fit on the page. How many decimeters are in one meter? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten decimeters equals one meter. This is really the best part of the whole metric system. Everything is based on 10. So if you accidentally miscounted and you're like, wait, why did I count nine? There should be 10 decimeters in a meter. There should be 10 centimeters in one decimeter. There should be 100 centimeters in one meter. It's all based on 10. Okay, let's practice uh, choosing appropriate lengths, keeping this in mind. So we have our Kilometers is a thousand meters, right? Uh, a hectometer is a hundred meters. A decameter is ten meters. A decimeter is uh, a tenth of a meter, so that amount of space right here. And a centimeter is about ooh, that big. And then a millimeter is like this that big, so so small. So somebody's height. You would probably have that in uh, like centimeters, I think, or meters. A distance like this from Chicago to New York, that would be in kilometers. The uh, width of a quarter. Probably, like, if you really want to be exact about it, like, if this amount of space matters, I would say millimeters. That amount of length? From here to here on, like, a track? That would probably be meters. The length of a pencil, probably centimeters, unless you really need to know specifically like all the way down to the tip, I would say centimeters. That amount of height, probably meters. And when I talk about meters with this, you'd probably have like a fraction like a, you know, or a decimal like 1.75 meters, which would be 175 centimeters. That height right there, probably centimeters or meters. Like a, it's about one meter, right? So maybe centimeters or meters, depending on why you need to know. And this amount of space from the sidewalk to the doorway, what do you think? Probably meters. Okay. All right, so as you use these measurements more often, you'll become more familiar. So see if you can, uh, if you have a measuring tape at your house or um, have access to a printable ruler, that's something that could be really helpful as you can sort of like gauge the different lengths and different uh, measurements. Um, what words do you know that can help you remember the prefixes in the metric system? Well, deca makes me think of decade, which is 10 years. Cent makes me think of cents, and there are 100 cents in $1, right? Mm, that's probably it, I mean. If you have more, feel free to write them down. How do the lengths of different units relate to one another? They're all based on, they're all multiples of 10, right? They are all multiples of 10. 
how many meters are in a kilometer? Kilo means thousand. If you look here, it is 10 times 10, which is 100 times 10, which is 1,000 times larger. One kilometer is 1,000 meters, so 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. How many millimeters, this one, is in one meter? It says right here, 1,000 millimeters is equal to one meter. How many centimeters? Are in one meter. One hundred centimeters are in one meter. What makes the metric system easy to understand? It's all based on multiples of ten, right? As opposed to um, the customary or imperial system where you have 12 inches in a foot and three feet in a yard and like 5,000 something something feet in a mile. It's like 10, 100, 1,000. Straightforward. All right, let's practice converting a little bit. So if we know we're going to keep this, you know, this chart nearby so we can keep remembering things. How many decimeters are in one meter? Deci is a 10. Like, there's 10 decimeters in one. So 10 decimeters in uh, one meter. So one meter equals 10 decimeters. Okay, so now we're going to use this knowledge to complete this table. If we had four meters, that would be four times ten to convert it to decimeters, so it's forty. If we had six meters, it would be six times what to figure out the number of decimeters? Just times ten, right? Which is what? Sixty. And then eight, it would be the number of meters times 10 to convert to get 80. So what do we do? We multiplied 8 by 10. The conversion is multiply it by 10. Okay, now you can also use a number line to convert measurements. It's kind of similar, it's just turned on its side. Um, so a kilometer is 1,000 meters. We know that. And if we forgot, we could look at our chart, right? So here we have sort of an equivalency table. So one kilometer is 1,000 meters. Two kilometers, 2,000 meters. Okay. So three kilometers is 3,000 meters. Four kilometers, 4,000 meters. Five kilometers, 5,000 meters. Now, here we have a couple word problems. It says Marsha drove her car 6,835 kilometers last year. How many meters did she drive? Well, basically, we're going to multiply this number by 1,000, right? Because that's, that's our conversion rate from... Uh, kilometers to meters. So to do that, <laughs> here, let's set it up on our whiteboard in case you've never done that before. Six, uh, eight, three, five. When you're multiplying something uh, by a thousand, think about okay, when you multiply something by ten. If you're talking like place value, you can say, you know, if you have like five multiplied by tens, five tens is 50. And what you've done is you move the decimal place from here to there. You've scooched the decimal point. So if we're going to have 6,835 multiplied by 1,000, we're going to move this decimal point three spaces instead of just one. Give me one, two, three. 
So from here, we're going to go one, from here, one, two, three, boom, 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 which gives us six million eight hundred thirty-five thousand. meters and you can see why we we cut that down to a thousand because it's like a lot of zeros a lot it's a extra wide number and we could just use the um kilometers john's television is uh, 160 centimeters wide how many millimeters wide is the television let's take a look so it's only scooching it by one because millimeters are smaller, the equal distance will be um, like a bigger number, right? Because they're so small. So we had 160 cm, and we're multiplying that by 10 to get the millimeters. So 160, scooch the decimal place over, so we have 1600. So like 160 tens is 1600. So 1600 millimeters. Okay, let's do a couple more. Five meters is 500 centimeters. Three hectometers, that's 100 meters and one hectometer. So that would be 300 meters. And seven kilometers is 7,000 meters. Okay? I know it's a lot. You're going to get the hang of it, I swear. It's just a little, when it's new, it's a little tricky, but you're going to be fine. All right, my friends, I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.